Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. Okay, so today we will be uh, focusing on 5.2.4 and 5.2.5, okay? So for this uh, two subtopic, the things that you need to remember is the characteristics or the properties of enzyme and also the um, extracellular production of enzyme okay so actually they are in your textbook okay they are uh, the they are main jet, uh, properties of enzyme but i put it in a simple uh, sentences that so that you can remember or memorize uh, easily okay so the first uh, sentences okay contain three characteristic of enzyme okay first enzymes act rapidly which is uh, mean really fast and only needed in small quantity so we don't need a lot of enzymes okay because after the enzyme uh, undergo a reaction catalyze a substrate okay the the similar enzyme still can be reuse still can be reusable for the next reaction okay and enzyme also very specific okay which means that uh similar to antibody okay so enzyme only act on a specific substrate that fit yang boleh dilekat atas active site of enzyme okay so apa itu active site so as you can see here okay the gray one is the uh, enzyme Okay, the green one is the uh, substrate. Okay, bahan yang enzyme tu nak break down. So, active site adalah bahagian yang lekukan ni. Okay, yang bentuk lekuk macam ni. Dan substrate tu mesti fit. Mesti duduk betul-betul atas uh, active site. Okay, barulah dia boleh undergo reaction. Barulah substrate tu akan dipecahkan ataupun di breakdown kan kepada products ok otherwise memang dia takkan jadi apa-apa lah dia masih lagi akan jadi macam uh, tak berlaku operation ok ok next ok so next uh, some enzyme need cofactor Okay, maksud cofactor ni adalah bahan yang dia perlukan untuk membuatkan enzyme tu berfungsi. Okay, kadang-kadang ada enzyme yang dia dalam keadaan inaktif. Maksudnya, dia bukannya tak uh, dia bukannya rosak tapi dia keadaan inaktif. Dan dia perlukan cofactor ni untuk mengaktifkan enzyme tersebut. Okay. Dan juga, activity of enzyme can be slowed down. Okay, can be becoming less effective by inhibitors. Okay, inhibitors such as lead and mercury. Okay, maksudnya activity enzyme juga boleh diperlahankan kalau kita ada inhibitors. Okay, and most of the enzyme reactions are reversible. Maksudnya kita boleh reverse lah. Okay. Okay, so next is 5.2 from 0.5. Okay, communicate about the involvement of specific organelles in production of enzyme. Okay, sebelum ni saya ada tanya. Okay, organel apa yang terlibat dalam production of enzymes. Okay, there are many actually, not only one, but there are different kind of organelles that work together in order to produce enzymes. Okay, so there are two types of uh, enzymes. Okay, based on the... Uh, purpose okay the first one is intracellular and the second one is extra extracellular okay so intracellular enzyme adalah enzyme yang akan dibuat dalam sel dan untuk kegunaan dalam sel juga okay enzyme that is synthesized for the usage inside of the cell okay such as hexokinase which is used for glycolysis process under cellular respiration extracellular enzyme okay also produced inside the cell both of uh, type of enzyme is produced inside the cell definitely
definitely ok tak ada enzyme buat gula-gula sel lah yang dibuat dalam sel dan akan di uh, lepaskan secreted out of the cell maksudnya kegunaan enzyme tu adalah di luar sel ok bukannya dalam sel ok example of the enzyme is Okay, example of the enzyme is pancreatic cell. Okay, we secrete trypsin to break down polypeptides at duodenum secreted by pancreatic cell. Okay, maksudnya trypsin ni enzyme yang digunakan di luar uh, cells. Okay, dan digunakan untuk proses digestion lah, untuk break down polypeptide. Okay. Okay, next kita tengok. Okay, macam mana uh, extra cellular enzyme ni di uh, dibuat. Okay, macam mana extra cellular enzyme ni dihasilkan dan disecreted out. Okay, yang how this uh, enzyme such as uh, trypsin is produced and secreted out of pancreatic cells. Okay. So basically, there are six main steps, okay? So I think your textbooks already put these steps in number, so it will be easy for you to memorize and it will be easy for you to understand, okay? So I basically just going to use the picture from the textbook, okay? Okay, so number one, okay, as we all know, enzymes are being synthesized at ribosome, okay, this is ribosome, okay, the blue dotted things, okay, the big one is nucleus, okay, this uh, membrane is called forward rough endoplasmic reticulum, okay, because it is attached with ribosome right so the ribosome will synthesize a uh, protein okay and the protein synthesized will enter the lumen lumen is like macam dengan satu lubang yang kosong okay dalam rough endoplasmic reticulum and are transported through it okay maksudnya protein tu akan masuk dalam lumen dekat uh, RER ni dan dia akan transported ke luar Okay, melalui transport vesikel, okay. And then, masih lagi protein, okay. Bukannya ada specific type of protein, bukan lagi enzyme dan bukan lagi hormon, okay. Maksudnya protein yang raw lah, Buk tak tahu lagi apa dia punya tujuan dia, okay. Okay, and then the protein dia akan masuk ke dalam transport vesikel. Dan akan dihantar ke Golgi apparatus. Okay, so Golgi apparatus ni is like a factory. Okay, di mana enzyme, eh bukan, di mana protein yang raw, yang mentah, dia akan pergi ke transport vesikel dan fuse together bersama dengan Golgi apparatus punya uh, membrane. Untuk ditukar kepada apa-apa je lah. Sama ada nak buat enzim, nak buat hormon. Dalam konteks ni kita nak buat extra cellular enzyme. Okay, such as trypsin. Okay. So, bila Golgi apparatus tu dah proses this raw protein from rough ER dan dah jadi enzim dan dia akan pack dalam secretory vesicle. Okay, dah kita pun nak secreted out. So, nama vesicle dia pun adalah secretory vesicle dan secretory vesicle dia akan fuse dengan plasma membrane dan enzyme tu pun akan keluar daripada cells. Jadilah extra cellular enzyme. Okay. So tak tak, tak susah eh. Okay. First step protein dibuat oleh uh, synthesized by ribosome. 
Okay, dan protein tu enter Raf ER, okay, and pack Enter to the lumen of RER And to pack into transport vesicle Transport vesicle carry the protein And fuse together with Golgi apparatus Okay Golgi apparatus, the function is to modify, right? You learn in chapter 2, the function is to modify And pack the enzyme Okay, into secretory vesicle Then secretory vesicle will fuse together Okay, the keyword is fuse Fuse together with plasma membrane And will secrete the enzyme out of the cells Okay Okay, I think uh, that's all for today Okay, 5.2.4, 5.2.5 5. Okay, next video will come out uh, maybe later this night Thank you for listening.